Hey there, this is Christy Winfrey with Legacy Transactions, bringing you another Tuesday tip. This week, I want to show you a quick tip in Gmail to how to create email templates. These are really handy, especially in real estate, as there are some things that you do on a consistent basis. It might be um, daily, it might be weekly, and um, these email templates can help save you time. So let's take a look at that. So the first thing you need to do is go ahead and go to your settings and make sure when you hit CL settings, make sure on advanced templates is enabled. And then what you'll do from there is you will um, set up your email template. So you will hit compose and then go ahead and delete your email signature because if you don't, when you insert that email template after you've composed it, it will create a duplicate email signature. So I'm gonna go ahead and name the subject line something that's gonna remind me what this email template is about. Okay. And then when I, um, when I insert this email template, it's going to make that the subject line. So I'm gonna to need to change that, but I did want to name it something that I remember what that um, email template's about. So I'm just gonna say, hi, that's gonna be going to the lender. I'm say, I want to confirm CD to time. And then what you'll do from there is go ahead and hit the three little dots down by the trash button, hit templates. And then it's going to, you're going to have save draft as template. Click on that. And then it pulls up this little other side. Um, and if you click on any of these, it's going to save over that email template. So be careful not to do that. But I think it gives you a pop up just in case you do click on it. And then you're going to have save as new template here. Then this is going to be my subject line. I'm going to hit save. And now when I want to use that email template, I've got my email signature here. Just click in the body of the email, hit the three little dots and go to templates. And it's going to be this very top um, template here. So if I click on that, it's going to insert it. And then I just change the subject line, add my recipients and send. Um, as you can see, I've got several email templates here. So things I, I check in with the lender regularly on a weekly basis, I'm asking, um, you know, about the loan approval deadline a couple of days before that's due. I'm checking the week of closing or, or earlier about the clear to close and the closing disclosure. Um, if we still need the appraisal, checking in on the week or loan status, or if we, um, if the home's appraised, I'm still checking on the loan status. So these come in really handy anytime I have to um, send an email to to anybody really. If I have sent an email more than two, three, four times that has the same verbiage or is about the same thing, that's when I create those email templates and, and they come in very, very handy and save you time. Um, one quick warning with Gmail is that I did notice after a certain amount of email templates, um, they start to disappear. And when I researched it a long time ago, it was you could have a max maximum of 40 email templates and then they start deleting things. Um, but unfortunately, I didn't get a notification that it was going to delete an email template. So just be aware of that. Um, but email templates can really come in handy. I hope you found this tip helpful and we look forward to uh, speaking with you next week. Have a great week.